Hello everyone, in this lecture we will discuss about the conversion of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide in a conversion reactor. We will use espanhysis to convert the sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide. So, in this case uh, we have a feed which consists of sulfur dioxide and air. So, the mm, mole fraction of the mole percentage of sulfur dioxide in the feed is 28% uh, sulfur dioxide and 72 percent of uh, the feed consists 72 percent of air. So, now we know that the air consists of 21 percent oxygen and 79 percent air. So, uh, 21 percent of the 72 percent uh, will give us the percentage the mole fraction of oxygen in the air and it is about the mole fraction of oxygen in the air is 0 0.1512. Uh, in this case, in the 72 percent air, uh, uh, 0 0.15.2 uh, will be oxygen and uh, remaining uh, the 79 percent uh, um, the 72 percent air will, consi will co consist of 79 percent uh, uh, nitrogen. So, 79 percent of the 72 percent will give us 79 percent of, uh, of the 72 percent will give us 0 0.1588. So, the mole fraction of nitrogen in this case the mole fraction of nitrogen in this case is 0 0.5688 and the mole fraction of uh, uh, oxygen in this case is 0 0.1512 the mole fraction of the mole fraction of uh, the mole fraction of uh, 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 oxygen so the mole fraction of x the mole fraction of oxygen now the the temperature of the feed is 2 to 7 degree centigrade and the pressure is 14.7 at m and the pressure drop in this uh, conversion reactor is 0. The reactor is a so thermal reactor. So, the feed temperature will be equal to the temperature of the product stream. In the, and the conversion of sulfur dioxide in this, in this reactor will be 70 percent. Now, what will be the molar chloride of nitrogen, oxygen and sulfur trioxide in the product stream. So, in this reaction, we will use the, the, the stoichiometric reaction will be the nitrogen the sulfur dioxide react with oxygen give us sulfur trioxide so the sulfur the two mole of sulfur dioxide react with one mole of oxygen and it give us over two mole of sulfur trioxide uh, gas so we will uh, use this equation and we will uh, find the molar flow rate of the product stream so the nitrogen is inert and it is not we will not include here for simplicity so uh, go to the um, spanhysis and add the uh, component so add component so uh, sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide react with air but air consists of nitrogen and oxygen and uh, it gives us sulfur trioxide gas all the reactant and product are in gaseous phase so now go to the fluid package and select a fluid package add fluid package I am adding the Finn Robinson equation, you can add some other equation. So, add the Finn Robinson equation and it is ok. Now, go to the simulation environment and add a reactor, the conversion reactor from the reactor list. So, this is the uh, model fillet, go to the reactor and these are various type of reactor, uh, drag the conversion reactor from this list and close this window and double click on the reactor and specify the you can change the name conversion reactor so conversion conversion reactor and the feed the feed is i am naming it it's just feed feed this is the feed and this is the top product top top gases I am naming it top gases and this is the liquid. So, it is there is no liquid in this reaction, but I am just putting liquid and this is optional. So, the reaction can be exothermic or endothermic. So, I am just uh, uh, entering energy. Energy. So, now it shows that it require a reaction set. So, I will close it and I will add a reaction set to this conversion reactor. So, I will go to the property tab in the property tab uh, there is a reaction so click on this reaction and add reaction click on add and then click add reaction and this is the conversion reaction 
because 70 70 percent is con conversion is occur in the reactor so click on conversion add reaction and uh, close this one double click on the reaction number one and the stoichiometric from the stoichiometric coefficient that two mole of sulfur dioxide react with uh, one mole of oxygen one mole of oxygen and give us the sulfur trioxide uh, gas sulfur trioxide and the oxygen and nitrogen is inert so two mole uh, of minus two for reactant i will put minus the stoichiometric coefficient of reactant is uh, will be uh, negative and the stoichiometric coefficient of the product will be positive so minus two minus one and plus two sulfur trioxide so the error is zero the base component is oxygen but i will convert it to the sulfur dioxide and the reaction phase is that all the component are in the gaseous or vapor phase so this will be the vapor phase the conversion the c1 and c2 value is unknown no, not known to us so i cannot use this conversion formula if you know the c1 c2 and temperature in kelvin so you can find conversion from this formula but there is no value for c1 c2 in this question so uh, that the c1 c2 will be zero and the conversion value is given it is 70 percent so it is given in the question that 70 percent sulfur dioxide is converted so uh, it is 70 percent i am writing 70 percent and c1 and c2 will be zero so now it is specified now uh, close this one it shows that not attached to fluid package now i will attach the uh, our reaction uh, to the uh, pin robinson equation which is a fluid package so add to the fluid package and uh, add acid to the fluid package oh. now it is uh, uh, ready now go to the uh, simulation and in the simulation uh, this is the feed the top gas and the conversion reactor so i will uh, double click on the feed i will specify the feed the feed is at 227 degree uh, centigrade so 227 degree centigrade and the pressure is uh, 14.7 14.7 atmospheric pressure so 14.7 atmospheric pressure so i am just checking it it is 14.7 14.7 atmospheric pressure so and the molar flow rate uh, the molar flow rate is 1000 kilogram mole per hour so 1000 kilogram mole per hour it is given in the um, question so uh, the, uh, it shows that unknown composition so i will go to the composition and in the composition the sulfur dioxide is 28 mole fraction so the mole fraction of sulfur dioxide is 28 and the uh, oxygen i uh, uh, obtained it from the oxygen mole fraction is 0 0.5688 0 0.5688 and the net remaining is uh, 1 minus uh, this and this so it will give us the oxygen so uh, the oxygen is 0 0.15 0 0.1512 so 0 0.1512 and there is no sulfur trioxide in the field so it will be 0 now it's the sum is equal to 1 so click on uh, okay click on click on okay so it is okay now uh, close this one the field is fully specified now uh, uh, go to the uh, reactor so this is the isothermal uh, reactor so the product temperature will be same the top gases will be at same temperature this is a isothermal so reactor so i am just writing the top and bottom temperature will be equal to the field which is 227 to 7 degree centigrade and the bottom temperature will be equal to will be also equal to 2 to 7 2 to 7 so now it is not converge fully converge so click on the reactor and this is the conversion reactor it shows that require a reaction set so i will specif already specify the reaction set so go to the reaction and add a reaction set to the conversion reactor so it is okay now close this one so it is fully convert converted so now i will find the mm, mm, you can also check the energy so this is the energy the power is 5398 power so the heat flow is this minus 1.943 multiply by 10 raised to power 7 kilo joule to the power 007 kilo joule per hour so this heat is removed from the reaction so this is the exothermic condition now you can uh, 
uh, check the molar fluoride of uh, hydrogen in the question the molar fluoride of the nitrogen oxygen and sulfur trioxide in the product stream so i will go to the worksheet in the worksheet i will go to the composition and uh, the composition and this is the feed the, the this is the liquid and this is the top gases of so i will uh, the sulfur trioxide and this is the sulfur trioxide now i will close this one and i will go to the top product so in the top i am mm, checking the molar fluoride of the various components so i will go to the composition and this one the sulfur trioxide molar fluoride so this is in the mole fraction so i will change the basis from mole fraction to mole flow so click on basis and mole flow mole mole so kilo mole per hour kilogram mole per hour so kilogram mole per hour now the uh, molar fluoride of uh, sulfur trioxide in the product is 196 sulfur trioxide is produced along with oxygen the molar fluoride of oxygen is this one and the molar fluoride of nitrogen is 568 and this one so and this is the molar fluoride of uh, uh, sulfur this is the molar fluoride of sulfur dioxide so in the feed the nitrogen molar fluoride is this one 5688000 and this is 196000 so this is the molar fluoride and this is the total molar fluoride is this figure so uh, you can uh, 568 from nitrogen i am checking it in the feed also so the nitrogen is not reacted this is 568 and uh, i am checking it in the feed in the feed i will go to the composition and i will go i will change the basis so uh, the nitrogen basis so in our mole flow and so this is the total 100 kg mole per hour and the nitrogen is 568 so their nitrogen is not reacted not taking in the reaction so you can check it and you can check the top product i also check it but i am to the composition and the mole so 84 kg mole per hour uh, uh, sulfur dioxide is producing and 568 kg mole per hour nitrogen this is entering and this is leaving this because it is inert oxygen 53 kg mole per hour oxygen is producing and 196 kg mole kilogram mole per hour so 3 is producing from the reactor so this was uh, about the conversion reactor uh, thank you very much for your attention if you are new to the channel please like and subscribe